Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Kingdom Planty. Question number one. At each group of plants, there are uh, liverworts or hepaticopsida and bryophytes, while angiosperms or flowering plants, they are considered as most successful group of plants on the land. So delta is the right option. And most of the species of vascular plants, they're found in diacords. You know, angiosperms they account for 2,35,000 species out of total 3,60,000 species. So out of these 2,35,000 species, most of the species, they are diacard plants. Which of the following will be listed as first cell of gametophyte generation in alternation of generation of plants? It will be a spore. As you can see, all haploid cells, they are the cells of gametophyte generation and all diploid cells, they are the cells of sporophyte generation. Zygote is considered as the first cell of sporophyte generation while spore is considered as first cell of gametophyte generation. And spore mother cell is the last cell, last diploid cell, so last spore, uh, cell of sporophyte generation. And gametes, they are considered as last cells of gametophyte generation. First group of land plants to develop true stem was Lycopsida, uh, sorry, Silopsida. As we know, Lycopsida, they developed true stem, true roots, as well as true leaves, but Silopsids, they developed true stem for the first time in evolutionary history of plants. All of the following characters can be attributed to biophytes except one. <clears throat> biophytes, they are homosporous. They have dependent sporophyte in most of the classes. They are heterogametic, but gametophyte is always independent. So right option is delta. Photosynthetic sporophyte developed in Anthocyropsida uh, or hornworm, as you can see, there is green sporophyte plant attached to the base gametophyte as well. This is the only group of bryophytes having photosynthetic sporophyte. Amphibious plants, they are named so because bryophytes, they are named as amphibious plants because they require water for their fertilization. So Charlie and they have flagellated male gametes. One of the following is a haploid tissue in bryophytes. Bryophytes, their foot, ceta and capsule, they are the part of bryophyte portion and they are diploid, but cliptra is a covering around capsule which is derived from gametophyte and it is haploid. So right option is cliptra. Number nine, Purella belongs to hepaticopsida or liverworts. And number 10, the oldest non-vascular plant, the plant is Cooksonia. Fossil record indicates that it is the oldest noun vascular plant. And you know, Rhinia was the first plant to be discovered, which was considered as a fossil of a vascular plant. But Cooksonia is considered as more older. Gametophyte and sporophyte are independent of each other in which of the following groups? It's a group of ferns or pteridophytes having independent gametophyte as well as sporophyte generations. First, small size leaves or microfil they were observed in lycopsida so alpha and all of the following are heterosporous except selaginella sorry selaginella cycas and brassica they are heterosporous but adientum is homosporous we have to find out the homosporous plant in this list which of the following is characteristic of bryophyte egg bryophyte egg is not motile not flagellated but it contains more food as compared to sperm. So right option is Charlie. And all of the following are seedless vascular plants, except Cedrus. Cedrus Dudara is the national tree of Pakistan as well. And it is naked seed producing plant or gymnosperm. Others in the list, they are seedless vascular plants. Circinate vernation is the characteristic feature of ferns. That the young leaves are in the coiled form slowly they grow and uncoil to form the larger leaves. This phenomenon, this pattern is known as the circinate vernation. Formation of photosynthetic tissue between branches in the evolution of leaf is known as fusion or webbing. So, Charlie. 
and the two root stem and two leaves that were observed in Lycopsida or Lycopods, they are the first plants to have all these structures in true spirit with xylem influence. Wind blown pollination is observed in gymnosperms as well as in angiosperms. <clears throat> and the leaf margin, they are enclosed to form an ovary as well as a fruit in angiosperms only. Ovary is not formed in case of gymnosperms, that is why they produce naked seeds. Fruit is produced in angiosperms from flower, especially from the fertilized ovary. And a fertilized ovule is termed as seed. And a ripened ovary is termed as fruit. Non-essential part of the flower, which do not uh, take participate, participation in um, fertilization or pollination process directly, they are calyx and corolla. So beta is the right option. Stamen and carpal, they are considered as essential parts of flower as they participate directly in the reproduction. Ovule is a modified megasporangium, integumented, indehiscent megasporangium is known as ovule. Double fertilization, it results in the formation of endosperm as well as zygote. Endosperm is a nutritive tissue, while zygote, it forms an embryo later on. Broad and bifacial leaves, they are the characteristics of dicot plants. As you can see, monocots, they have elongated leaves with parallel veins, dicot, they are having net like veins as well as broader leaves mostly. Number 27, one of the following is not a feature of dicot. Dicots, they are having vascular bundle like monocots, they are having woody stem or as well as herbaceous stem and pentameris flower, but trimeris flower is found in monocots as you can see over here multiple flower petals in the multiples of three they are found in monocots usually so number 27 right option is sally 28 in plants meiosis directly produces spores in the life cycle when sporocyte undergoes meiosis and bad pollinated flowers they are highly scented and have strongly scented because bats they cannot see the bright colors instead they smell the flower during nectar feeding which of these is part of male gametophyte? All haploid cells are known as gametophyte, but synergid cells, polar nuclei and antipodal cells, they are the part of female gametophyte and pollen tube nucleus is a part of male gametophyte generation. So Charlie, in the last question, gymnosperms and angiosperms are falling uh, in common, except they have pollen, ovules and vascular tissue in common, but ovaries they formed in angiosperms only so right option is alpha that was all about plants and the questions thank you so much thank you for listening